Munchie's Garage, S. Rasta, the German Shepherd mix. Any handsome. All right, so today uh, I'm going to be painting the red uh, bay window bus uh, to theme it out in the Bamboozer, which is the island bar that we've been working on. I've been doing a lot of mural work in uh, downtown Bradenton. So I'm going to be uh, doing a, a palm frond type of stripe around the side of this and then a logo uh, of the bar on top of that, which is a logo I designed based on an old tiki bar that I had in my old backyard of my old house now it's a real bar so that's pretty it's pretty awesome so I got a stripe going on right here I'm taping it out right now and this is gonna be lime green with a bunch of palm fronds in it and then right here on the side door is gonna be the bar logo which is gonna have like a tiki head it's gonna say a bamboozer so that's what we're doing today at Punchy's Garage check it the layout uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to see but you can see the phone there it's basically the the layout that's going to be on this bus so that's what i'm taping out right now so i'm going to time lapse that so you can watch ready So I got that all taped out, so this is going to be my stripe right here. So I'm not going to fill it in totally. What I'm going to do is take, I grab the palm frond leaf uh, from my patio palm tree, and I'm going to actually lay that on top of there and then spray over top of that. It's a really basic technique. Um, you can see it done on a lot of airboats and John boats and stuff. If you do it right, it looks really nice. Um, I did the golf cart in it, which is sitting over there, um, and I did a stripe, a couple stripes on the walls inside the bamboozer bar. And uh, so we're going to carry that effect onto the bus here so they all kind of relate. So here's how I do that. very very basic technique and there's no real perfect way to do it so if you feel like you messed up a little bit who cares because it's supposed to be anyways on this beach this bus is supposed to be real grungy looking so I got my green palm frond stripe painted and now I've covered it back up and what I did is I came in and left a uh, about a quarter inch uh, I, I did one one uh, tape line width and then I did a thin quarter inch stripe and I'm going to go ahead and paint these white and that goes the whole way around so I've got it all masked off ready to spray in white so we're going to have a green pom pom stripe outlined in white so I'm going to do that now let it dry and then I peel the tape and then we'll be done with that part and then I can move on to the logo. Alright, tape is pe peeled off, paper is peeled off and this is kind of the final result. I think it looks badass. Adds that little bit of a tropical island feel to it with that lime green. All the way around. Next 
step. Now that I got the, the paint finished up on this, the idea is to make the painting look as old as the vehicle. So this is 1970. So it's a 50 year old vehicle, so we want to make sure that this stripe kind of looks like it's been on there all 50 years to make it look realistic and uh, vintage. So what I'm doing now is I'm just grabbing some soapy water, some dish soap. And I'm just spraying it down really good. And I'm just taking some 800 to 1000 grit sandpaper. I'm just going to sand over this stripe, not only to Sorry, not only to knock the edge, the hard edge down and soften it up, but it's gonna it's gonna wear it out in spots. It's gonna thin out the edges and make it not perfect as you see right there, and that's kind of what I want. kind of see how the stripe has like a little damage to it that's gonna make it look old so I'm gonna keep going with this I gotta go the whole way around it'll take about an hour and uh, then I'll show you that all right so the stripe and everything sanded down so you can kind of see how I gave it some old age Pull this in through here. Really just took a scotch brite pad and just kind of scuffed it down. Uh, after I tried it with the sandpaper, the sandpaper wasn't quite gritty enough, so I got a scotch, scotch brite pad. Went back over it, but uh, looks pretty sweet. So, got a storm coming, I gotta get this back into the garage. See ya!